Amidst China's concern over India's growing long-range striking capabilities, defence planners have initiated process for an early induction of the country's most potent intercontinental-range ballistic missile Agni-5 in the armed forces. As part of the strategy, Defence Research and Development Organisation is likely to conduct a pre-induction trial of the 5,000 km range missile from a defence facility off Odisha coast on Sunday. It will be second test of the missile this year. This is perhaps the first long-range missile whose flight test is being conducted for the second time in a short span. The frequency of the developmental trials indicates that India is planning to induct the missile as early as possible said a defence analyst. Once inducted, the Agni-5 will make India a member of the very exclusive club of selected nations, including the US, UK, China, France and Russia which have intercontinental ballistic missile capabilities. Sources said pre-launch preparations are on at the Abdul Kalam Island in association with the officials from the Strategic Forces Command. The missile would be fired from a hermetically sealed canister. While the range integration has been completed, final checks of the missile subsystems are on. If weather permits, the missile will be fired as per the schedule. In case of inclement weather, the test may be postponed for Monday, said an official. Even as it is speculated that the missile will be handed over to the Army after this test, the official, however, made it clear that one more user associate launch will be conducted before the weapon system is formally inducted in the forces. Since the missile has to traverse across the Indian Ocean, a number of countries has been alerted and security measures have been undertaken to ensure that it is not affecting the international air and maritime traffic in the test zone.